Well, continuing the tour of the Sapporo Beer Museum, we left uh, this area here and came down this spiral staircase that uh, surrounds this uh, brewing kettle. Okay, is this a big pot or what? So I'll give you some idea of the scale here and so forth, the brewing pot. And then uh, on the wall over here we have some uh, posters over the years and so forth showing the uh, Sapporo beer brand as it was uh, advertised here. Interesting artwork. Kind of wonder what kind of Madison Avenue uh, effort they have in uh, Japan. Uh, it might differentiate uh, themselves trying to get people to recognize the their beer and uh, get it. Uh, around the corner here they've got some uh, more of the museum here on the second floor. Uh, this is showing some chronologically uh, chronological history starting in uh, 1957. Different uh, bottling and so forth like that. Uh, 63 uh, over here they've got the wooden kegs that they used at one time. And uh, again, different packaging of, uh, in this case, looks like some other uh, products that were offered by the Sapporo, Sapporo Beer Company, from uh, non-alcoholic uh, brew and all. But uh, the features, of course, over here, the different uh, packaging. I certainly like some of their uh, big bottles here. I mean, that thing is huge. <laughs> Cam. So forth, 1977 uh, here, getting us into the 80s and all. One of the things I found interesting was this little teeny bit of uh, beer there. I don't know how many, uh, what you got in that, but it's certainly on the small size. Uh, I'd say you get a couple of swigs and you're all done there. 1980s, bring us up to the 90s. Beer dispensers, one sort or another. I think this over here uh, showing uh, different bottling and connection with different uh, other companies and so forth like that. Most of the uh, materials are Japanese and so forth. Oh, it's a little hard to see, but on the wall here they're showing uh, commercials, the different Sapporo beer commercials. And then, of course, in uh, this room we've got to have the uh, the tasting room here, so you get to sample uh, the various uh, beer products and so forth. Nice uh, sample along the wall up there. And then uh, some nice uh, posters here uh, showing uh, beer advertisements uh, over the years here in Japan uh, with the geishas and so forth like that. Very nice looking artwork just in itself there. But obviously, uh, selling the uh, product. I'd say from the attire and the women and all, this is what they uh, were doing for uh, ads in the 1910, uh, 20, 30s, and so forth. There, they have a sample of this uh, artwork here. Some more artwork, uh, I'd say, from these uh, ladies' attire and all. It's uh, more the 1950s getting into the uh, 1960s here. As far as uh, there you go. Then uh, the uh, sports endorsements here, the baseball player. And uh, here's one of the things I found interesting. I noticed it in a uh, ad on uh, the subway train. It was a video that they had playing above the door as well as print ads. They actually show people drinking beer in the ads. I mean, uh, if you ever watch closely in an American beer ad, you never see anyone actually drinking. You know, they will maybe show a full bottle in their hand. You know, and then they'll show a glass or a bottle being put down, and then the suds and so forth. But you never actually see somebody uh, drinking the beer and all. So I think that's uh, kind of something different.
Uh, looks like we're in a stable here, so I guess maybe we have a jockey and so forth. And some of their more modern artwork and all for selling and uh, promoting beer and so forth. Boy, this guy looks, uh, I can only think he's uh, some sort of uh, actor and that sort of thing there. And other celebrity endorsements here for uh, beer up to the 1990s is what the poster says. Uh, so these were uh, in the 80s and uh, earlier years down there. And over here we have a little promotional video explaining probably the growing of the hops and malt and barley out in their fields here in the Hadiko. Uh, some other artwork and all uh, showing uh, the brewing, how they grow the uh, ingredients and so forth like that. And uh, where they uh, do some harvesting and where they get the grains from and so forth, different parts of the world here. And all. These look like some happy gentlemen uh, were growing some uh, good products there to make beer. The hops and the barley and all that. Okay, we'll continue the uh, tour on on the next floor.